probably the biggest reason was my age. Would we have anything in common? It's been a long time since I was a young adult. Francisco um, is always welcoming with a big hug whenever I see her and always excited to see me after I've been gone for a while, which means a lot. And she always shares in the countdown of how many days left are of class for me. So it's fun, we need to count down together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she writes awesome letters. I always get excited when I get a card from Mary and Cisco. And her hugs are really good. Yeah. Yeah. It's great, great hugs. <laughs> At first I wasn't sure I could do it because my beard was not good enough and so I didn't want to be confused with the junior hires so I was hesitant until my beard was long enough. When I got a full-time job I wasn't sure if um, that would take away from the time that I would have to keep investing um, in the kids lives just because I wasn't sure if I would just be too drained um, or if I would have the energy to be there uh, mentally and emotionally. Adam, he's always been there for me whenever I needed him. So he knows exactly what to say at the right moments and he always puts God right there. And I don't know what I would do without him. He's just a great person. Always finds time for me whenever I need him. When I was first asked to consider working with the young adults, I was honestly a little bit hesitant. Um, as a single adult, over the years I found that I can often be pigeonholed in either children's ministry, youth ministry, or young adult ministry. Um, but I'm a teacher and I'm a mentor at heart, so the young adult ministry really is a good fit. So I just had to get over those initial hesitations of being pigeonholed and allow God to put me where he had a purpose for me and a plan for me. So I gave it a shot, went to a Tuesday night, and I don't know that I've missed many Tuesdays since. I would say Shelly is very um, inspirational. I used to have a, a mentor in my previous church and coming here I was looking for someone really to fulfill that role um, and I would say she has definitely been a mentor in my life. Very open and willing to share her own life experiences and offer a lot of wisdom and knowledge as to what the Bible means and how to apply it to our lives and that has been very helpful um, for me. I think she really cares a lot about people, especially young adults, and there's been uh, a lot of things that I've learned from her, either through her teaching at um, Encounter or just personal conversation. She takes a lot of time to invest in people and always asks how I'm doing and if I have any questions about the Bible, she's willing to answer them. Or if I have questions about life, she's willing to talk to. So she's just kind of always there and, and cares a lot about me. When my story was very normal. I grew up in a Christian home. My parents stayed together. And how am I supposed to help these kids when they might go through things I've never had to go through. She is a really good role model. We went to RVR and her and Sam were um, talking back and forth at night before we were trying to go to bed and like these ridiculous voices. He's super fine. I'm really busy. I work two jobs. I'm just too old. I thought YouTube was start started with a U instead of a Y O U. That's how old I am. It's a lot of fun. And I'm one of those weird people that like grew up on TV land. So when I make a Beverly Hillbillies reference, she can get it. And everybody else is just like, who's Chuck clapping it? She really um, knows her stuff about the Bible. She has some years of experience. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. Well, I really like Melody because she knows a lot about the Bible. And she's really relatable. And so like whatever stories you have, like she'll have one to go with it. She just like knows a lot, so you're getting like, really good information from her and like you can trust her. On Sunday mornings and on Monday nights and Thursday nights, I would see this collection, this collective of kids wanting to pursue Jesus like the leaders that they had. And I saw these leaders and they looked fantastic and big and awesome and really cool. And I didn't look like those leaders. And I didn't look like their families. I didn't come from where they came from. I didn't see myself going where they were going, and yet there was this excitement and energy in the room for these kids to know Christ, and more than anything, I wanted to be a part of this group that said Jesus was what made these kids worth it. And in pursuing that, I learned that God is what makes us 
good enough for this job. God is what makes us worthy to pursue these kids because in the end, we're teaching them not about ourselves and what we look like or what other leaders look like, but that all in all, and most importantly, the reflection that they're striving for is to reflect God. 